Hi guys, welcome back to the JNET Framework tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain how we can use JNET Framework in the build tools like a Maven and the Gradle. Let us go ahead and start. So I have opened my Eclipse. Let us create a Maven project first. So go right click, other and click on this Maven project. If you don't find the Maven project, make sure that you downloaded the Maven plugin for your Eclipse and continue with this video and next let us choose the maven dash archetype dash quick start next and here group id com dot java take it and uh, the artifact id i am giving as maven jnit and click finish now whenever you are using the build tools like a maven or the gradle by default these tools will add the dependency for jnit in your prompt.xml file now if i open the form.xml file you can see the dependency for jnit in the form.xml but here the version is 3.8.1 but i am going to explain all the uh, jnit framework with the 4.12 version so just to replace this with the older version and once you have um, replace and save the file automatically the maven dependencies will be replaced with this uh, particular jnet version and just to make sure that uh, it has to reflect the all the dependencies properly right click maven and update project so that it is going to refresh the dependencies now if you see the project structure by default whenever you create a maven project automatically it has added one source file and another one is for the test class file that means src main java it has the uh, main code and also it has one unit test case for this as earlier it has with the 3. Dot, um, version 3. Dot x version there we have to extend the test class in order to execute the test class but as for the 4. Dot, um, x version no need to extending this test class because we are going to use the annotations in order to write the test cases unit test cases so just to remove all this unwanted stuff and we are going to write a one basic test case public wide basic test and let us put this one as system.out.println first test case in maven project this is my earlier one just i am going to clear it okay let me save this file and we need to annotate it this one with the at the rate of test and let me remove this old import statements those are no longer used for us instead of that we need to import from the arc.jnet so that's all about how we can write a basic test case and we can execute right click run as jnit okay test so now whenever you execute this test case automatically the test case has been completely successful and first test case in maven project so this is how we are going to execute the unit test cases from the eclipse as we are using this build tools like a maven by using the maven commands also we can able to execute the test cases available in this particular maven project in order to do that what we need to do is just to copy this particular um jnet uh, uh jnet this particular um, pro path for this particular project open the command prompt and navigate to this particular project and then what we need to do is we can execute the command mvn test what this command is going to do is it will identify the all the test cases available in this particular project and it will execute it that is the one of the beauty of uh, uh, include adding the uh, added in the whenever you are using the build tools and also these are going to be very much helpful if you are you integrating this one with the jenkins like a continue continuous integration tool because the jenkins automatically runs these test cases and based on the results it can pass or fail your builds 
okay so that is the uh, beauty of the build tools when you is now it has all the compiled everything happened now it has started the executing the test so once it execute the test it will identify how many tests it has executed and how many failures how many error out everything it is going to be given you the report now let us consider if you go to this particular uh, path that means where we have the maven project then in the target you will have the uh, unit test cases classes and also you will see the supply uh, basically these are the results what are the um, test case results you can find from here and if you want to execute from the eclipse you can at any point of time you can open the test case and execute it okay run as jnit test that is how you need to execute now let us quickly look at how we can execute or how we can use jnit in the gradle project right click other and instead of maven let us go with the gradle and next project name let us give as a gradle j unit and go to the next next and once gradle project is created we are going to see the dependency for the j unit in the gradle project as well and it has the basic test case automatically it will be created i just want to show you like how you can use the gradle um, uh, how you can use jnit in the gradle project as well okay so let us wait for few seconds to complete it okay click finish now this is going to create the gradle project first once gradle project is created we are going to see the configuration file called as a build dot uh, gradle in that we ideally provide the all the dependencies for your project uh, expand the gradle go to the build dot gradle file and if you see here by default it has the dependency for the jnit uh, colon jnit 4.12 and if i expand the src test or java in the default package we have something called as a library test as this is the 4.12 uh, automatically they are using the annotations in order to create the uh, test case and library this is the in the src folder we have the default uh, one class it has created by the gradle and for that they have written the some test case now let us go ahead and run this project or uh, sorry run this um, uh, jnit uh, test then we can see the output as assert is true right so it is going to give us the success message it has provided okay so this is how we are going to use in the gradle projects now for example if you want to use the same thing in the gradle here also what you can do is gradle test sorry the project has to be given the different path now now right click on this particular project properties and go to this particular uh, directory now let us go ahead and open the new command prompt and gradle sorry let us first navigate to this particular project and then gradle test now what it is going to do is this is the build tool command gradle gradle test is a build tool command it automatically uh, compiles your project and it will once it is compiled it is going to start executing your uh, test cases available in this particular um, project and it will give you the report similar to the maven how many test cases it has uh, succeeded how many it has failed and all that report you are going to see through this command as well so that is how uh, pretty much how you can use the um, build uh, how, how you can use jnt framework as part of the build tools so it takes a few seconds in the meantime uh, uh, i like to add one point here for example if you don't install the maven or the gradle in your project uh, in your local computer then these co commands will not work so make sure that 
you install the Maven by downloading from this particular um, website. And similarly for the Gradle, go to this particular website and download the latest distribution. And that will actually, um, once you uh, install it, you can able to execute the Maven or the Gradle front command from your command line. So it is going to take the uh, few seconds as this is the first time it is running the project. It is going to take a few seconds to build and uh, to compile and then you to execute the test cases it takes a few seconds. Okay, so it is building the classes and then it is test cases it has created and then it is executing the test cases. Okay, one test case is completed. Okay, build is successful. This is how we are going to use uh, Jaint framework in our build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.